Colin Montgomery used to be one of the greatest golfers in the world. With a rise so parabolic, even the best investors aren't familiar with those graphs. However, it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows for Colin, as oftentimes, his personal life got in the way and his form declined. But how did Colin become so good, and how has he managed to win virtually everything but a major championship? Colin Montgomery, a Scottish golfer, was born on June 23, 1963. Montgomery had quite the golfing journey. He won a whopping 8 European Tour Order of Merit titles, which is like being the king of European golf 7 times in a row, from 1993 to 1999. That's like hitting a hole in one, but for 7 years straight. He's bagged 31 European Tour victories, making him the top British golfer in that category. Montgomery even nailed 3 back-to-back -back Volvo PGA Championships between 1998 and 2000. Now when it comes to the big leagues, Montgomery was almost there. He finished second in five major championships. Think of it like getting the silver medal in the Olympics. And at one point, he was the world's second best golfer. In 2013, he joined the World Golf Fame. After turning 50, Montgomery kept swinging on the PGA Tour Champions and European Senior Tour, winning three senior major championships. Now, even though he's all Scottish by birth and roots, he grew up in England, where his dad managed a biscuit company. Imagine a golfing champion dunking cookies in his tea. He learned golf tricks at the Ilkley Golf Club and went to school in both Leeds and Perthshire. Colin didn't start on a fancy golf course. No, he was a regular kid from Scotland. Now, here's the interesting part. Colin was one of the first British golfer to hop over to the United States for college. He went to Houston Baptist University. Imagine playing golf and studying at the same time. And guess what? He was the star of the golf team there. Before turning pro, Colin made quite a name for himself in Scotland. He won three important amateur tournaments. It's like winning the championship in your school's basketball league, but for golf. But turning pro was the big moment. He did it in 1988 and guess what? He was named the Rookie of the Year on the European Tour. And with that, he instantly became the coolest kid. Colin wasn't just any golfer, he was one of Europe's finest. He won his first event at the 1989 Portuguese Open TBC by a whopping 11 shots. Then came the Ryder Cup. In 1991, Colin made his debut. He was Europe's go-to guy. Colin was on fire in Europe. He finished first on the European Tour Order of Merit every year from 1993 to 1999. He had 31 victories on the tour, including some prestigious championships. But here's the twist. Despite all his success in Europe, he couldn't quite crack it on the PGA Tour in the United States. He was the king of his castle, but struggling to conquer other kingdoms. Yet Colin was no stranger to the world rankings. He spent a whopping 400 weeks in the top 10. Imagine being one of the top players in the world for that long. His highest ranking was number 2. That's like being the vice president of the World Golf Club, which is crazy. But you know what's even crazier? Colin was known for being an incredible driver of the golf ball. He could hit the ball exactly where he wanted, like a marksman with a bow and arrow. And let's not forget the Volvo bonus pool. Colin owned it every year from 1993 to 1998. He was the best of the best in Europe. Colin's golfing tail really took off in the 2000s, but it wasn't always smooth sailing. As the new millennium rolled in, his form began to fade away bit by bit. Marriage problems threw a curveball into the game, and his world ranking dropped to not-so-impressive 82nd. He was like your favorite superhero, suddenly losing their powers. In 2005, he roared back to life, winning an astonishing 8th European Tour Order of Merit. He also found himself back in the top 10 in the world rankings. It's like he found a magic potion to rejuvenate his golfing mojo. Late in 2005, Colin achieved something remarkable. He became the first golfer to pocket a jaw-dropping 20 million euros on the European Tour. That's like winning the lottery, but through sheer skill and hard work. He stood at the pinnacle of the European Tour's all-time highest earners list, but wait, there's more! In July 2007, he won the Smurf at Kappa European Open, ending a nearly two-year dry spell. Now, 2008 wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. Colin slipped out of the top 100 players in the world rankings. But as they say, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. He rallied with a runner-up finish at the 2008 French Open in June, which catapulted him back up in the rankings. 
However, fate had other plans for Colin Montgomery. He missed out on qualifying for the Nick Faldo Ryder Cup team. It was a bitter pill to swallow, being so close to a dream but just missing it. March 2009 was special for Colin as he played in his 500th European Tour event at the Open de Andalusia. He might not have been in contention that weekend, but he showed the kind of endurance and passion that made him legend. For a long time, Colin was the top dog in career earnings on the European Tour, but in 2010, Ernie Els passed him by, and the torch was passed. Nevertheless, Colin's legacy remained untarnished. Fast forward to 2011, and Colin posted a final round of 68, securing a share of 7th place in the BMW PGA Championship at Wentworth. It looked like the seasoned warrior still had plenty of fight left in him. Even when his form dipped, Colin's influence in the golfing world was undeniable. In 2012, he was named in the 7th most powerful person in British golf by the Golf Club Managers Association's Golf Club Management magazine. Then came a milestone moment in June 2013. Colin Montgomery turned 50 and joined the Champions Tour. He made his debut in the Constellation Senior Players Championship, one of the most prestigious senior major championships. On a sunny day in May 2014, Colin clinched his first senior major championship at the Senior PGA Championship, a fairy tale which many thought was the ending to a long and successful career. But he didn't stop there. In July 2014, he claimed his second senior major at the US Senior Open. It's like writing the sequel to a best-selling book. And in May 2015, Montgomery defended his senior PGA Championship title. But in 2016, he narrowly missed out on making it three senior PGA Championships in a row, finishing second. His victories continued in 2017, with wins at the inaugural Japan Airlines Championship and the SAS Championship. His most recent victory came in 2019 at the Invesco QQQ Championship. Imagine being the reigning champ in a sport you've loved all your life. But here's the twist in Colin's story. He's often considered one of the best golfers never to have won a major championship, despite finishing in second place on five separate occasions. That coveted major win eluded him. One of those close calls happened at the 1992 US Open at the Pebble Beach Golf Links. He was always inches away, but never quite at the finish line. The Scottish golfer, renowned for his skill on the green, had his own fair share of ups and downs off the golf course. Before all the fame and fairways, Montgomery crossed paths with his first wife, Amy R. Wilson. They met when he was still an impressive amateur golfer, and she was a young promotions assistant. A chance encounter at an amateur championship in Nairn, where the Montgomery dominated the competition, brought them together. Amy, then a 17-year-old law student at Edinburgh University, was among the spectators. Their love blossomed, and they eventually became a family, with three children, Olivia, Venetia, and Cameron. Their home was in Oshot, Surrey, where they tried to balance the demands of marriage and Montgomery's burgeoning golf career. However, in 2002, their relationship hit a rocky patch when Amir gave Montgomery an ultimatum. It was time to choose between golf and marriage. For 10 long weeks, they lived apart as they grappled with their decision. Ultimately, they decided to give their marriage another chance. Yet in 2006, the strains of Montgomery's all-consuming passion for golf finally took its toll. Amir filed for a divorce, citing unreasonable behavior due to his unwavering dedication to the sport, which had left her grappling with anxiety and depression. The divorce settlement reached £8 million, marking a clean break from the past, with Amir relinquishing any claims to Montgomery's future earnings. In the aftermath of this divorce, Montgomery found himself in various relationships, including one with a Spanish model, Ines Sastre. However, his romantic life took a toll on his professional career, leading to what he described as his worst run in golf. In 2007, Montgomery announced his engagement to Scottish millionaires Gaynor Nowles, and they tied the knot on a picturesque day at Loch Lomond Golf Club in 2008. But marriage number two also faced challenges, and in 2017, they decided to part ways. Now, in 2023, Montgomery has entered a new chapter in his personal life. He married for the third time, this time to his sports agent, Sarah Casey. The surprise announcement came via social media, where Montgomery sharing a radiant photo of the newlyweds in their wedding attire. This unexpected union marked a new beginning for the golfing legend, and fans can only hope that the third time truly is the charm for Colin Montgomery.